Hey guys. What I have, um, what I've done is I've evolved my Kodak V570 design, uh, Velcro design. Um, what I have here is, uh, you, you know, let me first draw the the layout of my Kodak. So there's my camera. I have a little flash. The flash goes here. The lens is over here. I have a dual lens system. And I have a lanyard tab over here that for strap and what I was doing earlier was I had put velcro along the along the sides like like this okay and I had it, it, it was adhesive back velcro and what what I've been finding is that after several months of use um, I started using this in October, November, and what I was finding was the Velcro would, because because I was mounting this to a curved surface, I was mounting the camera to my visor, the inner part of my visor. <coughs> let me draw. Let me draw the visor. Yeah, okay. Right here's the visor, and right here would be my camera and the velcro would only be touching in this location right here these right there that spot so what happened what happened in this area was that right here the velcro would eventually wear out cuz you're taking it on and off on and off on and off and really the edges here of the velcro here were not being used however it was um adhering to the body of the camera and keeping the velcro in place so it had its function although the surface wasn't used the adhesive backing provided a means of bonding to camera so here's a simple way um, now we're gonna now we're gonna look at the top view of the camera the top of the camera looks like this okay it has your um it has your start you know your 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 shutter button, your on off, and three more buttons. Okay, and then your flash is here. You know, and so anyway, um, oh yeah, and your lanyard thing is there. Your little for your strap. Okay, so what I did was um, a way to do this, a way to a, and the camera is looking out this way. Okay, and your your eyeballs here. You're leaning out down that way. The camera's pointing down. Um, instead of a Velcro piece like this, you know. Instead of your Velcro being like that, um, and you have only, say, a limited contact patch over here, you know, this is the contact patch. Instead of that, what you do instead is you create a Velcro piece that is extended, fold it over, and then done like that. So that what you now have is you have a tremendous amount of contact patch here, okay, an incredible, uh, a much greater area of contact, plus flexible, and you still have this bonding surface where it can bond here. So what you have is you have something that's not going to move, but shoot, many orders of magnitude um, superior in, in bonding strength and gripping strength. Um, so let me redraw this one. Okay, let's see if we can draw it. It's a little tricky, but let's see if we can draw it. It'll it would look like this. Yeah. Hey, not bad. So my my surface would be here. And because it's adhesive backed, it'll it'll stick to itself when you fold it over. Okay, so um, this is the way to go if you're going to go with the Velcro. And I have an example. Um, okay, here we go. So this is how it looks like right here. I made the whole entire surface. Um, um, okay, well, first of all, let me explain the hook and loop idea. The way Velcro works is, uh, if you look very closely, there are a bunch of hooks. Okay, on one side. And on the other side, there's actually a bunch of loops. 
sewn together. And when you push the two together, the hooks attach to the loops. But a lot of times when you tear it, these eventually you take it on and off, on and off, these loops will tear. You know, these hooks will, you know, break the break the loop eventually, wear it out. Anyway, um, what I've done is I've put the loop side on this face. And it, it's pretty neat. It actually looks stylish, you know. I mean, and I, I bought a silver camera. I, I, I made the mistake of buying a silver one instead of a black one. I, I prefer black because when I'm looking out the helmet, the black doesn't reflect. In, you can't see the camera. You don't have reflections from the camera. And here's the hook, here's the flap section, and it's remarkably strong. I mean, what I've done in recent times too is, in my helmet, I've eliminated um, a good portion of, I've eliminated a good portion of um, the velcro, the hook section on my visor. So let me draw the visor. Let me see if I can do it right here. Let's take this out. Okay, so how does my visor look? My visor, my helmet looks like, so we got that little thing there. Ooh, not good. Okay, so let me just draw it like that, okay? So there's my, there's my little, there's my little whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So, ooh, this isn't right. Whatever. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. So, what I had was I had in my in my earlier setup was that I had these little um, pieces glued onto here like this, and a lot of people don't like it. They've tried it because what happens is it gets in your way these pieces of velcro and effective what you do is when you when you create a velcro system like this what happens is you effectively eliminate a lot of other velcro so all you need to do is stick it to the bottom and it holds and because this is dramatically increased the area and made it much stronger all you need is very little velcro to hold it in place let me draw this one more time I'm not satisfied with that one let's do a front view where I did this. So now I've eliminated this part. And so now my camera. Oh, 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 because of these tabs, these tabs have grown outwards. So the camera looks much wider. Okay. What I've done is I eliminated these Velcros, these pieces of Velcro, and I was able to shift them outwards. Okay. I was able to shift them out to here, like this. So I did this instead. And what was really profound was because the velcros were spread apart, velcro pieces, for some reason it feels like it's so much more spacious. So even though the camera position has not changed, you know, the camera is still in the same place, it feels as if there's a lot more um, clearance. That's it. Here it is. Oh, and you see this? I put I put Velcro on the top because when I have my thick gloves, when I put my gloves on, I I try to push the button, and I'll pu I end up pushing the wrong button all the freaking time. So all I do is I hit this button, and it opens, and then I, I can easily push this button. You know, it's just it just makes it easy for me. That's it. Here it is. Oh, and you notice um. There's lanyard piece. I actually cut a hole so that so that the lanyard can um how'd you say? Yeah, lan yeah, I just cut it, cut it. Took me a while. It was a bit tricky, but but I did it, you know. Yeah, there it is. Whee!